Hello, I'm Brian, Brother Brian, and this is Andrew from Quasi's Bell Tower. And this is Point Rock Review. Harvest Hefe? Hefe? Again, from Sam Adams. It's a Sam Adams beer, yes. Hazy golden with spicy and sweet notes. 5.4 alcohol per volume. Ooh. It's, eh, it's kind of going up, going down, whatever. It's like a roller coaster. As long as it doesn't taste like a uh, scarecrow that's on there, I'm, I'm good with this beer. I might be good with this beer. You mean like old and obviously salty? <laughs> I don't know what it would yeah. taste like. And, but. And, and probably burnt shit. Eww, burnt shit. Ooh. Oh, I like the smell of that. Well, the color is a lot lighter than the beers that we had before. That's for sure. I wow. It smells like I had tea that tasted like that, or that smelled like that. It doesn't smell like a dark beer, that's for no. sure. No. Because it's not, of course. Right. So it's, it's going to be different. Spices galore, that's all I can say. That's all I got from that was spices galore. There are spices in it, yes. There are the same uh, spices we've had all night tonight, basically, with a lot of these beers, but there's something different about it. It's not heavy. <laughs> it's no, not a dark beer. It's not heavy but at there's all. But there's something, there's something different about this beer. There's an added ingredients or something. Wheat ale with flavor with natural flavors added, and they don't. Uh, looks like they don't get into what those other flavors. What the could spices be. are, or whatever. Yeah, sweet notes. Um, that's an interesting beer compared to what we've had lately. Yes, yes, it's, yeah. It's definitely. Uh, it's not heavy. Uh, the spices that we had earlier are there, but there's definitely uh, some different spices in it. The thing about it is it tastes like something that I know I've had before. Okay. When you say that, the only thing I can think of when I tasted that last sip, no. it, it tastes... Which is funny because I can't stand the taste of that shit. It tastes menace. It tastes like it's got some kind of medicine taste. Medicine. To, yeah, medicine. 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 Yeah. It, it, it just it tastes like something I should be tasting before I go to bed when I have a cold or something. Or I wish I tasted it when I was a kid. That shit back in the day, was, the liquid was horrible, man. It was nasty. It was nasty. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I, well... No, that, you know what that is? That's got, that's got a weird lemony lime taste to it. I get... Am, am I wrong about I do, that? I do get that. Well, I, there's a weird thing about me where I don't like lemon or lime. But if you mix the two flavors together, I kind of like them. That's weird. Does that, that make sense? Yeah, that's. It's got a. Yeah, it's. Somebody put some goddamn lemon in this and lime in it. Somebody mixed something in it, yeah. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's like a lemony lime taste. It's definitely a lime taste in a way. That's weird. It is kind of weird. I, I can't put my finger on what the hell that tastes like. I know exactly. That's what it says, like a cross. So our next beer is Shipyard Pumpkin Head. From the Shipyard Brewing Company. There's Four, nothing else in the bottle. 4.5 alcohol. Wow, that's kind of gone down. I'm glad it has, because I'm just... Yeah, the last one, yeah, it was 5.4, it's 4.5. 
Yeah. Yeah. A lot of beer tonight. I'll tell you that, people. From South Burlington, Vermont. That explain why explains why I've seen in New Hampshire a whole lot of shit of uh, shipyard stuff. Really? Really. Wow, look at that. No extra. Oh, that's Ooh. Awesome. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You get that smell? Well, I I have a caramel smell to it right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here we Actually, go. I'm getting kind of a caramel smell. Okay. Getting a bit of a caramel taste. You do get the caramel taste. Um, it's there. What I like is the spices are there. Yes. But they're very mild. It's like they're they're not overpowering. They're there, but they're not overpowering. I think that's what I like about it. About it. Less is more in this case. Yeah, it's, it's it's very faint, but it's not it's not watered down faint. No, is what no. I'm saying. It's yeah. not watered down faint. It's just like it's almost like the perfect amount, mm. which is kind of strange for a point or a four point five beer. Well, we it tastes it, like we, it's uh, it tastes like it's got a little bit more than that. Uh, mm-hmm. To me, it does anyway. I will say tonight, honestly, I, I can I can admit, it does taste a little watered down compared to some of the other pumpkin beers we've had. Okay. All right. But honestly, some of them were like yeah. that spice was too much. Mm -hmm. Um and sometimes the flavor was too it was too much too. You know, it's like it needs you need to have that right like I can drink this in a six pack. A lot of those beers that we, we were drinking, it's like you would have to drink that six pack in a couple weeks. You couldn't drink yeah. that in one night. You can definitely drink this in one night. Yes, I agree. It's, I it's agree. a very smooth uh, pumpkin flavor. It's almost got just a hint of, it's a little bit sweeter than the, uh, the other beers. It's not like, like, uh, soda sweet right. or watered down soda sweet, but mm -hmm. it's 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 got a sweet taste to it in a bit. Mm -hmm. just, just a just a hint of sweetness. Yes, that's definitely you there. know it, it's definitely there. Yeah. So this is our review on Harvest Hefe. Hef Hefe Hefe. How do you pronounce that? H E F E. It still doesn't tell me how to pronounce it. Hefe? Hefe. 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 Whatever. It's this one from Sam Adams. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, not a bad beer. Um, I don't quite understand the, uh, the logo or whatever else. Uh, it's a harvest beer, okay? Um, I wouldn't say I dislike it, and I would not say I like it, but uh, I think I could give that beer a three. I mean, it's it's not it's I don't know it's different. That's all I can say. But it's it's a uh, it's passable. All I can say for for harvest whatever that word is, <laughs> um, I kind of liked it. Um, Finally, Sam Adams, you you really surprised me. I mean, you surprised you surprised me a little bit with the uh, the black, the the black lager. I think that was called. Yes, yes, the beer we had. That surprised right. me. I mean, I, I did not really give that a high rating, but you know, um, I, no, I gave that a four. I gave that a four, and I think about it. This one, I think, is probably up there with that. In the uh, as weird as it sounds, I think you're thinking. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like this one. So, uh, 
I'm gonna have to give that a four. Really? Wow. Really? Wow. Okay. This is my review on Shipyard Pumpkin Head. Um, I honestly enjoyed that beer. Uh, it, it wasn't bad. It was, uh, the spices were there, but they were kind of mild. It was like, it was really a smooth uh, pumpkin ale. I don't know. That's the only way I can explain that. It was very smooth. Thunder. Wow. Cool. Thunder. Okay, by the way. My review on this beer is, uh, this beer was very smooth for being a pumpkin ale. With all the freaking pumpkin beers we've had tonight and everything yeah. else, this was the right amount of spice. Okay. And the right amount of pumpkin or whatever. Whatever it was, this was a really good beer um, for a pumpkin ale because they're so... The spices are all over the place. They they really are. Really? Um, this has those spices. It has it all. But it's really mild. Right. And I honestly would give this beer a five out of five for being a pumpkin ale, because okay. it's just it's the perfect amount of everything. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I would give that a five out You're, of five. He's gonna be a five well, out of five. For so a pumpkin cool. ale, that is a five out of five. That wow. is the top pumpkin ale. Wow. Number one for a pumpkin ale. Personally, uh, I kind of understand a lot of where you're coming from. I, I it's, I, I really do like this myself. Um, I see myself every year around Halloween waiting for Halloween to get here so that shipyard will bring their their pumpkin head on tap. Really? Good. This would be one I want to drink on tap. Definitely. I want to drink this on tap. I would love to drink that on tap. So, I've never uh, had it on tap before. That would be awesome. Five out of five seal of approval. I bet you that would be a six out of five if we had it on tap. Maybe. All I Maybe. know is that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to click the like button. Till next time. Goodbye. Uh, when I have this th this one here, the ship head, ship head, ship head, right? Shipyard. 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 Look at it. So this uh, shipyard um, <laughs> humping head. <laughs> pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. Uh, so the shipyard pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> I can't even do it. I don't think. Some of this. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. It's mine. Go ahead. It's mine. It's mine. Jordan, you got it, dude. Go <laughs> <No>, ahead. Uh, <laughs> the only reason why I say shipyard pumpkin head is because I don't know if you forgot the name of it already. Are you ruined my my bottle caps, you bitch? So my review on sh uh, shipyard pumpkin. Uh, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about.